So earlier in the Christmas class, we've seen two individuals put their spots on the line going into the six-pack challenge for the FWF Championship. One of them being Luke Cage, who looked quite impressive against the Black Ranger. We also had Red Ranger put his spot on the line against Rock Lee. He was the first one to do it, and he was the first one to lose it. So now Rock Lee will be replacing him as the member or the representative for the University of Skill. So it's kind of set a trend here, and now of course all my film like he has to get, take the challenge here on, and I guess what he's going to do here against Tommy Oliver. Tommy Oliver, aka the Green Ranger, aka the White Ranger, so he has two different costumes. I always wanted someone to do that, but no one did, so I did it myself. I did not make this call, but what I did was I took the Green Ranger, and then I deleted his second attire, and then I downloaded the White Ranger, and then I put the White Ranger's attire as the Green Ranger's second attire. I thought, thought that was pretty clever. I thought that was pretty clever. Anyways, I don't see how White Ranger, or Tom Oliver is going to win this one, but he can. He does have a chance here. He has the agility. He has a, well, doesn't have the speed over all my, as you saw right there with that big boot. So he's going to need to rely on his agility. Oh, man. He's got popped up into the air and nailed with a punch. But again, all my, very agile, no less. Knee to the face. Overhand. Forearm shot. Kick to the knee. He also has a martial arts background, so you can use that as well here. Through the ropes, Hurricane Rana, oh no, he caught him, and power bomb on the floor from All Might. We are starting this one off hot, and I don't blame him for trying to be quick, uh, Tommy, but still not a good idea to go against uh, All Might like that. I don't think so. You don't want to match him in strength. You don't want to match him in speed unless you know you're faster, and there are very few people here in FWF who are stronger than All Might. Heading back into the rain now, Lariat down goes. Green Ranger into a pin. One, just a one. Good resilience. Green Ranger. Oh, wow. Handspray back elbow. Bottom rope. 450. That was insane. How the hell did he do that? Cover. One. Just a one. How I don't even know how he even did that to begin with. I don't even know how All Might kicked out of it, but I guess All Might hasn't taken that much damage just yet. Wise move here, though, by Green Ranger. Maybe it'll force All Might to transform back to a skinnier form. Elbow to the gut, though. Another elbow to the gut. All Might. Picks him up. I don't know what to call this move. I'm going to call it to Welcome to America for now, and that might do it. Into a pin. Hook in the outside leg. Two. Just a two count. I don't know how Green Ranger is still in this one, but All Might's done a lot of damage to him, but Green Ranger just won't stay down. Hit with the big splash as he represents Unprincipled. Two again, and he's still in it. I mean, this is a great showing, you know, but you still got to win the match. He's got to get some offense in here at some point. Now into the corner again. This time, Didi Titty spiked him with that one. Nice. Oliver picking him up onto the shoulder. Whoa, he's carrying him. Nice. Oshi Goroshi. Dropkick to the back of the head now. He's not even going for a pin because he knows. He knows he has to do a lot of damage to beat him. He is no idiot. Tiger Zord. Got it. That's going to do it, folks. That has to do it. Hooks the outside leg. Two. I don't even know how he kicked out. I don't know how he kicked out, but he did. And I guess Green Ranger's got to find a, a loop here. Oh, man. No, he's down. He's got to find some sort of opening again. But All Might, back up on his feet. Still got a smile on his face, but Green Ranger clearly in trouble here. Lariato over the top rope. Here we go. Taken flight the big man. Jeez, flying like the magic school bus because I know it's what it felt like. It felt like Green Ranger got hit by a bus. I'm willing to bet the people in the front row over there felt that one. The force and velocity and the height. No pin, though. Wait a minute. Green Ranger able to escape again and goes for another head or uh, chin lock. My bad. Trying to hold him down once again, which is smart here by Green Ranger. I appreciate it. I like what he's doing. But how long is this going to last? As you see, once again, All Might able to power out. Perhaps he's trying to come up with new ideas, or he's just trying to drain him of his stamina because he knows he's not who he used to be. 
DDT face first into the mat. Removing the top turnbuckle. I mean, if you got to go this route, you got to go this route. I, I don't really blame him at this point. If you can find a way to, to distract Yoshi Sega. Going to try this again with the Insiguri. You're going to get powerbombed again. I don't know what you're doing. Or not. Perhaps he hasn't rattled. Perhaps he's taking control. Got the chin lock again. All might. Has to be zapped of his stamina at this point, which is exactly what Tommy wanted. Hits the lariat. And you see him trying to recover. Perhaps this was the goal of Green Ranger to exploit some sort of weakness. Yoshisake is distracted looking at the turnbuckle and there it is. The United States of Smash. The issue here is that he was not paying attention to... But it's not enough time. It's not enough time. That lariat is something else. And you can see All Might is tired after that fight, but you know... He's excited because he's got the fans on his side, regardless. So far, he's the only one who's had a weakness exploited of him out of everybody else, it seems like. Then again, I guess Luke Cage had a weakness exploited as well as the speed seems to be an issue for him. And Rock Lee experience seems to be an issue for him. As for the other competitors, we'll see them later. Obito, Spider-Man, and Johnny Cage.